Perez partaking in the Wyndham, and he played in the Pro-Am. He's gonna f around and win one of these things. The long-awaited right. Pebble Beach Series match. Six Me versus Katsi. Yeah. So we're gonna aim for the end of this month for that video. My favorite haircut is when I just be on the phone. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, Did you ever, like... Did, does that... Did, that, did he ever... I, hey, Bob. Don't use that one. Doc... Oh! Do you still get nervous about, like, when we record something? Remember you used to throw a fit about if, if we record? Yeah, 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 we're back um, with the fits. When yeah. we would record something and you wouldn't, like, think that you got it. Are those, those days are done, no, right? No, every single time. Are dude. you serious? I glance, I look at the camera every time I glance. I don't know if you do this, Tech. I glance up and down all the time to make sure it's still it's still running. Do you get that type of stress, Tech? Yeah, I'm doing it right now as you guys are having this conversation. <laughs> right, so I'm checking the, the camera. Yeah. What, else, what else do you stress about? Not pissing him off. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, I think we all stress that's about that. That's a good that. one. No, I don't. But do you actually on, do, you, do you actually stress that, or or is that a way now? I feel like you guys yeah. have a thing now to where you don't stress it as much. No, I think. Over, over, look at the way he's looking I, at me. He doesn't I'm, want me to I'm, say no. Shit. It's not true. I'm <laughs> I'm disgusted at at how like at that statement. I'm disgusted. I'm happy about it, but I'm disgusted. I'm yes. Uh, my stress compared to six months ago is considerably less. That's awesome. That's, that's awesome yeah, to hear. Yeah. Yours, mine too, by yours the way. Yours is minus one thousand percent. You are different. You are. You, you are, are the happy. Guy. He's the You're happiest I have ever seen him. Yeah, I, I'm too. having a blast, dude. My yeah. life. I have the best. I've. I. I told you last time how envious I used to be of how you guys just enjoyed your life. And now I enjoy my life. You know what was a great moment in the podcast uh, the last time? By the way, folks, we're back. Another edition of Bob Does Sports Podcast. Um, we're running a little thin here. We have no FP. We have no EG, Joey D. Um, you saw us last week all together. The boys are back. Look, by any means necessary, throw us all together. I think the last one was very nice, but part of the Jupiter move that we discussed, everybody always being together. Um when we got to pump these things out, we got to pump these out. We're up to four podcasts a month instead of three now. Take a welcome back, Bob, to Sports Podcast. Thanks for having me, Bob. What were we just talking about? About how you, I, you know, I have a theory too oh, about you, your stress Go levels. Ahead. Go yeah. ahead. I love this shit. Yeah. I think he's frightened of happiness. Oh, that ain't, that ain't a theory, dude. I, yeah, I think you're scared of a feeling you've rarely had, I, bro, yeah, I, and that it'll slip away. So sometimes you create stuff. Yes, but I'm, I'm, ve but I'm very upfront about. It. That's absolutely true. Uh, yeah, you think I'm not like if, making that up. I'm yeah, waiting. I feel for, like I've never heard you say that. No, I said, no, he, I say it all. I've said it to Bob. That a you're lot. afraid of happiness. He, he no, said not that he, I'm afraid of happiness. That that things are going too well. Something horrible is going. Oh, happen. the other shoe's going to drop, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I said last yeah, year, like where he's fair. like, it's, it's going too well. You know, you oh, know, the funny thing is that I always thing. thought that until I met you and until you studied me and wrote theses and hypotheses about me, I I always thought I was just like not. I thought I was just like a normal like. Maybe it was because of what we were doing, so you only saw me in a certain light. But I never realized how nuts I am until you pointed it out. And then I was like, holy shit. You know what? And then I was like thinking back, and I'm like, I really like have always been like this. Yeah, you know. But when ahead. it's not with – you've only known me in – like the first month you met me, I was at my, you know, most crazy. So um, that was your – that's how we knew each other. Yeah. Well, the the thing that really made me while I was really able to understand you is we talk on the phone a lot and it'll go we've had 2 hour talks, we have some some deep calls. A lot of times in those calls, I will fire you with so many questions. Some questions that you <laughs> think are ridiculous, which you know, in the grand scheme of things might be, but yeah. it's just you're such a you're such a fascinating case. That there's so many layers <laughs> down there. You know what I mean? Dude, I yeah. see that's you, the thing. You sound I didn't like know. A, like he's a doctor though, and he's just studying you. He kinda, You're his subject. But it's I'm not, not just a doctor, me. This but guy's I am just studying you. No, but it's not it's I not am a just, doctor, but I am studying. It's you not just me. Sure. This guy studies everybody. So, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. The more so. yeah, he's I a big you have that in you too. I do too. I ask a lot of questions. I ask a lot of questions. About me? About anything and everyone. You don't ask me a lot of questions. I find that some people get irritated by it. I'm a curious fella. Yeah. Well, the the only time that somebody will get irritated, and by somebody I mean me, <laughs> if if you don't get the answer that you want, like it, it like if you don't get the That's answer that you think point. he is, 
you're, it's not done. He'll he'll then go back and then almost <clears throat> like he wants you. He pushes you to get the answer. <laughs> but that he only wanted. only when it's about him though. Like he needs you. Uh, no, no, yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> need, he, ha, he needs you to confirm a feeling that he has, which is never true, which is never true. And you'll give him the right. He'll think something poorly of himself, and he'll ask you a question. <laughs> Hear me out. No, just listen. Yeah. He'll think something so incredibly poorly of himself about a conversation that happened eight months ago that the person who was talking about it has long forgotten. But he will ask you a question to try to get you to answer in a way that will confirm that feeling about himself. And if you don't do it, he'll double and triple and quadruple down until you just give in and do it, even if it's not true. Well, here's the thing. It's not It's not that I, I think you're, you're, it's not that it's not the answer that I, I'm not looking for. It's that I think you were lying to me. Yeah, I, well, I, yeah, that's, I totally that, that's, feel that. So, so you, do you remember? Dude, we're the high, same guy. Do you remember in high school when you would get a bad haircut and everyone would be like, "No, oh, man, you're overthinking. It's a good haircut." And then behind your back, everyone goes, "Man, it's a fucking bad yeah. haircut." It's just like your friends will say the truth behind your back because they yes. don't want to hurt your feelings. Is he so talking about me? I was gonna say, speaking of bad haircuts, I, by the way, I this know, that was just I cannot example, believe you didn't like this haircut. Completely independent of you. But you didn't come but in and say you didn't like you, the haircut. I, I thought it was fine. Once he said that he didn't like it, I'm looking at it now. I don't think I but like it's, it. Well, okay, so here's the thing. If there's one person that can talk about hair at this table, it, it's neither of you. Damn, okay, so damn, I'll, like, dude, I'll handle the was, hair. Come on, Like, if you're going to come in. Go? No, but I'm saying, like, on, don't, don't be taking the go hair. Down? I'm low, dude. I shouldn't have done that, but don't take shots. But also, this is this is what the kids are doing these days. He has the ability to do No, that. I walked Sometimes in. Sometimes when you get put in, like into a wall, like when you're, you're you're backed up against a wall, you just take a low shot. You just <laughs> take a low, a low shot. shot. I should completely my bad, my bad. independent of where we were. No, because you were, I, I got a little defensive. You know you're coming at me. kryptonite too. I didn't mean it like that. I'm, fuck, I'm, I didn't mean it like that. I, what I meant was, I meant it exactly like that. But I just meant I walked, like my hair is never, I never have done anything with my hair and I needed to get a haircut and I said, hey, Fuck me up, fam. Like, do your thing. Good set of hair. And he did it. And I actually like. I, I like it. That's good. Sit at at the barbershop. Do you say anything to the barber at all during, like, before the cut or during the cut? During the cut. During the cut. I'm trying to think. Like, yeah, a little I'm bit. The, a little bit. I don't mind. I know. Yes. If I'm the barber, you would get. And, yeah, and I say, what do you do for work? What do you say? Oh, I would respond. I would say, I, I I'm, I'm a producer, or I like produce a show. Okay. But it's more so like I think they get the like. It, it's a silent haircut. You, you hear a lot of zhuzhing, you know? You know, when somebody asks me what I do, like if I'm by my parents and it's like their friends that ask, like, and at the club or whatever, and I know they're not really going to get it and I don't want follow-up questions, I'll either say I work for the Four Seasons Hotel. <laughs> or Yeah, yeah. Or, or I'll say I work for a media company. Those are both okay. great answers. That, that's a good one. And then the media company thing kind of yeah. like shuts it so down. So what if they're more. like, oh, I know the manager at the Four Seasons. You know my my son? He's your boss. Eh, uh, yeah, that doesn't like happen. Four Seasons Shanghai. You know what? Yeah. He'd, be, yeah. he'd be the only guy. The he would just swindle his way out of it somehow. <laughs> yeah. You know what's the worst, though, with haircuts, though? Going back to that, is have you ever gotten, like, sometimes it seems like they only became a barber because they want to talk to you. They wanna, <laughs> <laughs> they've got stories to tell and they want you to hear it. And you're trapped there. <laughs> I've never it's such a great it's so good it's true it's and so then good. they're telling the story so in depthly that the scissors are flying they're using their yeah. hands and they've completely forgotten about your haircut yeah they've forgotten about your face you ever have that like mid haircut it's starting to go sideways and yes. you're and you're like what am I like I, I'm very like I'll say what I want and then I'll like subtly like hint at it like remind them if I see them starting to go rogue yeah my favorite haircut is when I just be on the phone to where I'll pull it around. The, I can't the imagine apron. you do. How do you do, how do, that? You do that? What do you mean? How do I do like that? Like you, like you pull your phone. You, I'm on. I'm on the phone the whole time. Oh, that's God. crazy. Yeah, I'm on the phone the whole time. Are you texting? Are you sure? But Bob, if you're <laughs> here, so you Absolutely. pull. This you, guy's <laughs> always on his phone. So hold on. <laughs> He's cutting your hair. It's it's um. What's his name? Cue the barber. Cue the barber. Mind you, hair. he has me there for an hour. No, which I know, is but I'm crazy. Saying, isn't it? I feel like it's more hassle. I almost appreciate. Like if you're looking at it with hair falling onto your phone, well, I, yeah, I wipe it off at the end, and then he'll give me a towel sometimes. Did you ever like? Did, does that? Oh, I'm saying, did he ever? I, no, I think you'd be surprised I, I, I at be how surprised. many people are on the phone. But I'm saying, is that norm? Like the first time you did that, was he like, "What the fuck are you doing?" No, no <laughs> more. All right, I, I, I maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm do you wrong. know? Um, My point was, I, I actually like this haircut. I feel good. Oh, that's all that matters. 
Well, that's a whole bad response. <laughs> what? That's a bad All response. That ah. With that being said, you, I, you, I how guess, you feel about it? Well, I feel great about it. Great. But are you coming in? Are you looking at me being like, what, like when I leave, when you were talking about those kids in middle school, are you going to be one of them? Because I was never one of them. I just said, people, if I didn't like the haircut, I would said People haircuts. are going to see it from the front and say, oh, it's fine. To me, is it the size? It's the size. But that's, the, size. that's yeah. the fade. But remember, we fade. can't comment on that. Correct. No, no, fuck you. Yeah, you can comment people. on that. I, I shouldn't. It's By the way, that's on me. See, you're okay. You're but ticket, no, apparently not. No, fuck apparently you. I'm not. You came at me. And also, <laughs> you, no, you know why you I did it? All? It's, it's a, because you, what you said to him a few weeks ago, how he always tells you, oh, you look like you're losing weight. Yeah. I ain't going to lie to no, you. No, don't brother. lie to me. But with that being said, I can appreciate that. I'm pretty sure this is a respectable haircut. It's respectable. Okay. That's yeah. all I I don't just, but if I'm walking it's around. It's not around, a botch job. If I'm it walk, just doesn't it's a, fit your head. Yeah, we're not saying yes, that it's but, 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 but in two weeks, you're going to, it's going to be normal to you. Correct. And then that'll, and then, and then. Okay. So what, my, right. what I'm trying to tell you guys, if I look like a clown, <laughs> you don't say it. You don't look like a clown. No. Cause no. I okay, all right, all right. No, it's really, it's really not that bad. I've seen you have better, I've seen you have better haircuts. I, I don't think I have, man. Yeah, sure you have. You have. The one before. There were but like also, two episodes in a row that we had come out a couple weeks ago where me and Cutsy were both telling you how good your hair looked. Whatever that haircut I'd was. Also, no, go. I'm sticking with this I one, like when you I go like long. I like when you really let it but flow. But that's what I... So I'm saying usually when I get a haircut, they cut off more. I kept more on the top and the same thing on the sides because the sides grow faster. So in two weeks, it's going to flow a little nicer. Mm -hmm. uh, a few things, uh, Bob, to sports related that we're going to jump into. Um the long awaited and this had been filmed for quite some time and i yeah. think people are really going to enjoy this it's a wild one it took place how long ago that was february pebble right? beach the pebble beach series match probably that's pretty good that you knew I that i think february mm. me versus Katsi, pebble beach i think i'm i was up in it four three mm -hmm. or four two maybe mm -hmm. um first to five winner gets a trip to pebble beach um and I'm not going to say who wins, but it is actually funny. I gave Cutsy a gift card to Pebble Beach for his birthday. So uh, regardless, <laughs> we'll, time will tell as far as um, who wins that. But a long-awaited one. We had signed a deal because people ask us about that all the time. We've wanted to put it out. It's it's hysterical. First off, it's extremely windy. Um, and then secondly, we had just signed the deal with Callaway. And in that video we weren't using any callaway club so we almost just didn't want to be not that they told us hey don't put anything out we just didn't want to be disrespectful to them and not put anything that we're not we're wearing different brand we're using different clubs we're just going to put a disclaimer out there and fire away because people want to see that yeah i think we realized so we had filmed that we were planning on having it come out and then and by the way it's the most requested anything yeah. we've ever like in the show's history yeah and we all like it was filmed and it was it, from my understanding, I mean, I've seen a little bit of it. It is extremely windy. So that was the problem. Like there's going to be problems with the audio just in general. But um, yeah, we had signed the Callaway deal was signed and we forgot. We were getting all of our videos out before every video after was going to be with Callaway yes. and with Breezy and with everything. And we had one that was there and we just were like, all right, we'll put it out when we put it out. And then shit just started stacking up and it never came out yeah and again i i i can't tell you a video that's been more requested that i mean people ask us all the time um i mean you weren't there that day so no. take it at, at film but it's fucking it not only is it good just people like the match play it's hysterical so i've always wanted to put it out i knew the wind was an issue but we kind of got to the point where like so many people are asking fuck it let's put it out it's one of the funniest episodes that I've ever been a part of. I, think. I had tears. It really was. so funny. It's yeah. it's gonna because be like you and Cut Cutsy was on one that the, you, you can tell the videos when Cutsy is like really feeling himself. Yeah. And that was one of them. And yeah. he was just really having a good time out there swinging freely. And it was it was a blast. I hope the audio works out and I hope we can put it out and people, uh, people love it. Yeah. So we're going to aim for the end of this month for that video, assuming it's not like we've gone through it and I've been through it a million times, assuming it's not an absolute audio nightmare which it's it is and isn't so i think the people just deserve to see it regardless yeah I and do too. it'll lead, it'll be like a, you know yeah i think people deserve to see it and we'll yeah see even just for those that. particular moments there's certain moments we won't give it away there's a couple moments where i just remember being by the green with you and just in tears <laughs> cracking up so um yeah regardless so you guys have, have the heads up it might not be the best quality but my God, is it funny. Um, All right, Binyamin, we are out here at Callaway's testing facility. New Apex line of irons, player irons. 
we've got the Apex Pros, we've got the Apex CBs and the MBs that I'm not holding here. Why? Because they're sweet. So I hit them all, um, landed on combo set of Pro in the high irons and um, the CBs and the lows. These are allowing me to flight the ball a lot better, um, a little bit more consistent on lengths, um, not having as much of the jumpers. So these are perfect for the good player, the great profile. I love these things, they're spinning perfect, they're launching perfect, and I can work them both ways, everything you want. When you get them on August 1st, they're even gonna come with shafts. So find them today, Apex, Callaway line, new for 2023, these things are awesome. And then another thing to get into that I thought was hysterical, and I wish he was here to talk about it. We'll have him on for the next podcast that we have, though, is um, Perez partaking, partaking in the Wyndham, uh, <laughs> what is it, the Wyndham Championship, yeah, Championship, would it be? Yes. And he played in the Pro-Am, and we were getting videos sent from fans, from people that we knew that were there. He's going to fuck around and win one of these things. Whether it's like, I could see him at like Lake Tahoe, like, imagine... Perez and Curry in the final Just grouping. Dueling out, yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he, Perez is that good to where he he legitimately might fuck around and win one. Yeah, I, I thought it was hilarious that they um like the day before the the Wyndham Championship came out with like like when when Justin Thomas commits they make like these like posters <laughs> it's like Justin Thomas commits to the Wyndham and it was like it was like Fat Perez commits to it looked like it looked like a two K like my player it's like Fat Perez commits to the Wyndham Pro Am and it was big news it was like being spread like people were like picking yeah. up picking up on it. And I was like, all right, like, cause I think he's done prom before, but it's been, it's been a little like quieter. Also, they put him in there. They would like ask pros, they would do like the TikToks and whatever. And they'd ask pros like, what's your biggest oh, pet yeah. peeve? And it would be like, uh, Siwoo Kim and JT Poston and then Fat Perez, just like <laughs> with his response. And they so, squeezed him in like a, yeah, a like minute he was, yeah. and like 30 seconds into like the video. Like he was part of the just thing. Popped him in it, it was really funny. And I, he, from what I saw, I saw, um, he made a lot of putts and he played pretty well yeah, and looked like there were a lot of fans first that were following him. He was him. playing unbelievable. Well, there was one day. Well, the first, oh, the front nine, though. Wasn't he like yeah. four he, under? He was four through, under through nine. Unbelievable. They, and, yeah, they split the way, pros. I don't know how, how it works in terms of whether it's a scram. I don't know how pros like, work. No, so everybody played their own ball, I think, and then it was like they take the best two scores. I don't know this for sure, mm. but he did play his own ball. And then I was talking to Big Wave Dave, and Big Wave Dave was at the, went the practice round. And he told me, he's like, these are on PGA conditions. He had, I, I think, seven birdies on the day. And he's like, to have seven, six or seven birdies on those PGA conditions. I, I, I really do believe that if he ends up playing the Lake Tahoe one or whatever, he's got a chance to win the whole thing. And then there's also a chance of me yeah. and Joe play that we kill somebody. Yeah, at Tahoe, you guys can do a three-man scramble against the field. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At, at Tahoe, I think he... Um, I think I'm trying to think who's who would, and I don't want to. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. Like he's a scratch golfer, so you'd have to think he'd be right up there at Tahoe. Yeah. Um, yeah. And even on the pro am circuit, but he gets to play with two pro. They like split the nines now. So he had who was he playing with? Taylor Pendrith. Taylor Pendrith, and then he had, I, uh, Gim. Oh, and Doug Gim on yeah. the bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. He had two nines, which is pretty sick. You get two pros now. It Dude, was what was that Instagram account or the Twitter account that posted him like sneaking a beer in the middle, like oh, between God, the holes? Oh God, that was I didn't so see this. You, you sent it. it. You sent it. You sent into it into the group chat. Damn. <laughs> Dude, he between oh, holes. It was, he was it was it the the news article? Yeah, no, it was it, like the yeah, yeah. oh, it was like the the Carolina Sun or something. Yeah, yeah. It, it had like a picture of him, and it was like Fat Perez enjoys himself during the uh, you know famed funny? influencer. He, he's yeah. he's on the green and he's he's chugging yeah, he's, this beer. Somebody DM me. They're like, if because the article said he was sipping a beer, and somebody <laughs> said if that's sipping a beer, then chugging it is eating the whole can. <laughs> 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 it was it was so good, but it was wild to see fans sending in videos from like behind the ropes of like Perez. Would in you it. would you be nervous to play in a pro am? Fuck yeah, yeah you would. Oh but yeah, wouldn't you no. come in with the expectation that everybody knows like you know you're gonna play how you play? It's not that. Like it's probably more nerve wracking for Perez because people are expecting him to play well. Yes, yes, you're right about that. It, it's not that I could care less. as far as how I play. I wouldn't really care. I'd want to play well, but if I didn't play well, I wouldn't care. My thing is. You're gonna kill someone. That's that's my thing. Really? That, that's my thing. A Garrett Clark type situation. With all due respect to Garrett Clark, 
by the way, that was frightening. I mean, listen, if Garrett Clark can can hit somebody, you yeah, you, I, you would do like a boom, like a pinball thing. I remember I messaged Garrett after I saw the video. I was like, dude, this is amazing. Like it shows that you're human. Like now, like it really helps me. And like he was really going through it at the time. He was really scared. And like I made like a big joke out of it. Once I knew the kid was okay, that is. It was like when you almost <laughs> killed the guy at, at Chevy. That was, you want to talk about an anxious <laughs> moment in my life? That was one of the you almost funniest, killed the guy. You don't oh, know this no. story. Man. Take okay, it. so we went. We this okay, the day before we flew to to San Jose to play against Barstool, the day before Prez was in town, Monterey, yeah. the day before, Bob, I, I remember, I will remember like every single small detail of this. We get to Chevy <laughs> and somebody was hosting us at Chevy. You knew a member and he's like, come to Chevy, come play Chevy. Like we, we just had nothing to do that there, you guys. So we went and we played and he was like a real chill dude. And it was the first time I think we ever played me, you, and Perez, maybe like together. Yeah. And Chevy's Where like a weird Joe? course. Why wasn't Joe there? I'm not sure. He might have been working. Yeah. That's yeah, what he it probably was. was working. Yeah, he was working. Yeah, he was working. I just said I'll remember every detail. No idea where Joe was. But <laughs> he we get to the sixth hole. And 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 I'm like, whatever. I, I think I was just like I was nervous about the match with four play in general. Cause I knew I was like yeah. I hadn't played and I was like very I was a little nervous going into that. And it was a par three, sixth hole, I believe, at Chevy. And the members standing right behind us, nicest guy in the world. Nicest guy in the fucking really world. Was one of the and best you guys were having a good time. I think you guys might have been gummied up or somebody That's was. Correct. And I put the ball in the tee box. And I remember the, the the green was like angled off to the right or to the left. So because I think I know what I'm doing, I lined up my my ball on the right side of the tee box, right? And I I like was like, all right, let me just like put this somewhere. I took a swing. The ball, <laughs> club hit the ball. It was a six iron. <laughs> Club hit the ball. It went directly right, hit the T marker, okay, and flew backwards. It whizzed. Wait, wait, wait. It, it, dude, dude, it whizzed directly past the member's eye over the street to Morikawa's old home. <laughs> and like we were just sitting there, like waiting for the gla for like a glass to shatter. Nothing shattered. But then we look back. The guy was like on the ground because it. I almost killed him. <laughs> he like I, he had to do like. The Dude, <laughs> and he like. It, it, by the way, it ruined. Momentum was done after that. It was horrible. I almost killed a guy, and I was shook for four holes after. And he was such a nice guy. He's like, "Oh, don't worry about." It. Like he like, it was like it was like uh, plinko. It was like it's like ping, <laughs> like, ping, ping. He's, like, he's like a big like stoner guy, and he was just like after he did it, he was just like, "Ah, it's alright, man." He's like, "No worries Dude, about it, Jay. Right, if, if it was an inch or two or a foot or two left of it." And that how been hard it. was I laughing? Oh, and he lost it. It was, bro, bro, bro. It was so bad. <laughs> bro, his worst nightmare is killing someone at a tournament like that. But he's never laughed harder than when one of us almost murdered someone. He was on the floor. I almost murdered someone at Moore Park. <laughs> was, yeah, but, was I there? Hold on. Was I there? That's he <laughs> lost but, it. Was that the third day? But that's yeah, it was the third day. By the way, that's because there was a five-minute dialogue <laughs> about Prior to you hitting that shot about yeah. not hitting that <laughs> shot. And you're telling us, no, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. And then you hit just a direct yeah. shot. <laughs> you love uh, that shit. I love you. When, that, when, that, I'm saying, <laughs> Tick, when your ball is in the air, you probably saw it all crashing down. I it didn't did. even I didn't even have time to that for that because it hit gone and then I turned around and realized, and that's when I had like the retroactive panic that I might kill a guy. <laughs> and he it was bad. And it, it shook me to my core for he was yeah. he was legitimately it, it he was and bob so was shook. obviously laughing his ass off so it made it worse and even perez wasn't laughing i think i think perez was like he I at first perez he was like was what the shook fuck? by the moment and then he was like joking about it but you don't you never want to be that guy like and then everybody's like almost like you feel like there's a target on your back people are just looking at you the rest of the way Is which that the i closest hate. you've ever come to hitting someone you played a lot of golf growing up, but it, oh, with a ball? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Really, I got hit a couple times when I was really? caddying. Really? Yeah, yeah, I got doinked a couple times. No, I was never on the head. I remember I was with um, I was caddying for this guy who I used to caddy for a lot. Huh. We were coming up. Um, we were coming up. Fuck, what hole was it? We were going up seventeen. Got a great story, Listen, by the way. We were going up seventeen, Bryn Mawr Country Club, and. These guys were coming up five. <laughs> you were caddy. Yeah, I told you. Oh, no, it's not bad. It's not. It's yeah. not even a crazy hit. One time I got Just doinked and nobody saw. Yeah, I was wearing the bib and everything. So I was a kid though. The I was reason I'm like laughing because the thing of you caddying is 
amazing. I was probably it's eighteen. Amazing <laughs> visual. So well, I was, it really a, was a different guy, but um, um, I was probably like eighteen, nineteen, and these guys hit like a slice. So we're walking up seventeen. They're coming up five, which is next to seventeen. Guy hit a slice. It it just hit, it hit the ground, and then it hit me in the leg, and I was like, "What the fuck?" And the member I was with was furious about it. He took their ball and he put it on a tee right there and then he just he's like keep it moving and we just kept walking so when they got to their ball they saw it was on a tee that's my whole story but i thought it was fucking <laughs> sick I, I i thought it was the coolest thing ever he's like fuck these guys and he put down a tee and he put their ball on a tee and just kept it moving there was a time we were at rancho park with cutsy i think it was rancho park and cutsy it came from another fairway cutsy gets ripped on the thigh were you oh, there yeah. Yeah, I was no, there. No, I was not. He, I was there. It was me, was Showtime, and yeah, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. He got ripped in the thigh, and he doesn't even flinch. And he mm -hmm. was like, they should have called four. But, like, didn't even address the fact that his thigh had to be so hurt. You never would have known. You never would have known. You just heard the sound, and then he just... And that was it. Well, he doesn't sh he'll never show pain. No, he won't. I don't know if he feels pain, man. Everything yeah. he does is That was is the same different. hole that you almost ended a goose's life, too. Same exact hole. Same core, same hole. That's an amazing memory. Yeah, actually. well, that was one of the funniest moments of my life. Yeah, yeah. Because it should have happened to me. <laughs> and you would have been laughing your ass off. But it actually happened to you. And I got to experience. <laughs> I, don't think I, would, I think if you did something so horrific, I don't think I would laugh. I think I'd just be like, what the... F like, if, he did, if he did something yeah. horrific or me? No, hey, Bob. Him, yeah. You too. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I would. I once um, what's it called? Well, I it, once was standing next to somebody who got hit in, by a Tiger Woods ball in like right in the chest off the tee box, and he didn't. He was like a big dude, and like he clearly was feeling it, but he wasn't showing anybody. And he just off the tee box, first tee, Paramus, New Jersey, um, the first round of the playoffs, the Barclays Championship. Tiger Woods tees off. It's a snap, and it went right next to us, and it hit the guy so hard you could hear the thud like boom and it dropped to the floor and everybody like looks around and there's a guy just like he clearly can't breathe but he's like i'm good i'm good and he's just <laughs> standing there and it was a pretty wild moment. i just like for me any type of fall or whatever like but you even showed when the cut to garage video i mean you're in the back saying don't laugh don't yeah i laugh. thought he was hurt dude <laughs> yeah yeah no he doesn't get hurt he doesn't yeah. it, it's like he doesn't feel pain speaking of tiger um i can't believe i was that late to the docu the tiger documentary you just watched it i watched it on the way to canada i thought it was the most unbelievable the, thing the hbo one i just can't believe that they buried him like that they went at him like it was that. a hit piece yeah it, it was job. i mean that that guy the the reporter from uh, national uh inquire or whatever that was that guy was out for blood i never I, I i i i've seen the whole thing and then i went back, i saw the first one again on the plane i don't i don't remember that 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 I part can't, i just i can't help but wonder if like do you think tiger watched that no you don't no i think he had somebody watch it and if there was an issue with it he had his people do whatever they have to do he's the type of dude he's like he's one of these mythical guys who like moves in silence he's like well, michael didn't move in silence you know I mean? with that no, I'm saying he he yeah I, he he moved in silence for a long time. Yeah. But even like now he just kind of like floats under yeah, the radar. Yeah. And like you don't know what he's up to, and nobody. We 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 went on that. We went past his house on when we were in Jupiter, and you can't. It's it's like you don't even know there's a house. It's there. Totally it's just, blocked. Yeah. Off. He's just he's. Uh, I did think the documentary was really cool. This shit about his dad, and I know like that was there's amazing. a lot of controversy surrounding that in terms of like how he was raised or whatever. It's pretty wild to see his dad like mold him into exactly what he became it's crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. it's apps and then even the mom was such a stickler too yeah and then like even the stuff with you mean, his dad you mean, you mean tita <laughs> yeah that's right yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's absolutely right yeah yeah you know what would be my dream um if there was a bob does sports documentary like what like a legit documentary like not yeah. like something you just toss on youtube with all due respect yeah. to youtube please keep us in the algorithm a 30 I for 30 if I you will uh, yes yeah but you got you got to wait for, that's coming but you got like oh you just got to wait many years i oh if do you think, think that do you think i'm come? not gonna tell everything on that thing oh we'd be fucked can you no no not actually but could you imagine like seeing like you know how they start all the docs where like the guy like sits in the chair like imagine like <laughs> so cutsy what, sitting down to like i'm gonna tell you everything so what do you want to talk about yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. exactly um like or even like if you go like if they start as early as like ticket working at the four seasons yeah, yeah. joe working at the four, we're saying something that would make me so happy we're a long ways away 
but to do a, a Bob Does Sports documentary for me would why, be Why are you what? laughing? No, nobody fell. Why are you laughing? Well, because if we did do a, a Four Seasons documentary... Oh, 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 you got stories? Oh, oh. If you bring up all I the wasn't going to go there. Stuff? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, were you I, no, about I me? thought you were gonna go there. Oh, I Jesus, wasn't gonna go no. there. It's about you. It's about me. <laughs> yeah. about not last man. week, baby. <laughs> I'm an auxiliary not character. This week. Um, it's about everybody. Oh man, but all this because then you, it would be an excuse to bring up all the cutsy footage oh, that you have man. of him. I mean, the crazy thing is too, with the four seasons that we were the PM guys a lot, so all the big managers, like the big executives, they would all leave to where the hotel was pretty much run by us. Yep. It really was. That's all they had. So the amount of shit that went on throughout that. But if you start like that early and then you start him growing up Chicago with 18 brothers and sisters, you know what I mean? It's not wrong. Get a peek into the van that you guys all used to oh, pile into. Oh, would I? We did. All the, we did. I'd stop in just for that part of the dock. <laughs> I, uh, I, I think I would just, yeah, I would just, I would use that dock to flame. I'd be like the guy, um, who is that dock? They're doing, by the way. There's a new incredible documentary out all the time. They're doing that Bishop Sycamore doc now, which is must oh, watch. Oh, they're going to talk about the Johnny Manziel one. Well, there's all these, but I'm saying I just saw the Bishop Sycamore one and this and that. And there's always one guy. Who is Bishop Sycamore? Bishop Sycamore was the high school that in Ohio that had a fake school oh. just so they could play football. They were like grown men pretending to be in high school playing football against like IMG Academy and they would lose by 50 every game. And then it took like one season or like five games for people to figure it out. And then it, they became like the greatest meme of all time. I can't believe you don't remember this. What? Did you see this is kind of changing gears a little bit? But yeah. did you see Josh Allen? He donated a shit ton of money to I, some high school in Buffalo, or maybe like it was a, it was like the high school that he it's went to Bishop to. Sycamore, and he he donated like millions to them. And the first purchase they made, they got a robot to do the yard. <laughs> <laughs> That was like the first. So they called Josh and they're like, hey, man, like we're thinking about getting this robot. Like, are you cool with it? I he's like, this. yeah. And he's like, yeah. He's like, I don't care. He's like, do what you want to do. It was on part of my take. And he's just like, yeah. What, like, you, what is the robot that does the yard? It does like the yard. It's like the 10, 10 yard oh, line, 15 oh. yard line. And it goes and it sprays it. They, yeah, they called him and They're like him. a startup with an influx of cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, what can we do? First seed investing went real well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's unbelievable. You know what my favorite documentary of all time is? Well, I don't want to. You're going to say, say the Thrashers, the Trash. No, but that is the. Oh, that's up your alley, Mister T. Which one? Fuck. It was. Um, I forget what it was called, but it's the same thing that Netflix is doing with Johnny Manziel. They they had a previous season with like four other ones, and it's about this hockey team. This dad, this mob mobster essentially, who gave who bought his son a. Um, minor, not minor league, a like uh, one of these pro league, like lower pro league. He bought him a hockey team, and it's about it's that story. It's unbelievable. Mm. It's about the kid running this fake, not fake, but this lower level hockey team. But my favorite documentary, one of my favorites, is it's not even sports. Have you seen the one with um, Beats and Jimmy Iovine and HBO oh, yeah. and the music? It's the best. The oh, best. Yeah, see, I best like ever. that. That you would love it. It's the best. Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. It's yeah. how they came up. It's how they. <clears throat> um, it's basically about Jimmy Iovine, who I, is Jimmy a, Iovine. Yeah, but I think they call him Iovine. Yeah, they do. He's got, he's, there's he's a couple stacked, lines dude. in there that are unbelievable bars that I've like internalized. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, he's, yeah. it's, it's, to it's, be scarier. No, it's not like that. It's more so about like the focus and the, the, the work he did to get to where they are and how they met. You're going to die. How they met. Wait. Hey, Bob. Don't use that one. What? what? That bathroom. Oh, no. <laughs> That's where I, I skirted off to there in a minute. It's about it's about how they met Doc. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh my god, dude! Bro, I said don't you use it. Bent on anything I've ever smelt. I'm take yo. What went on? Uh, it wasn't even that long. I don't it was know. it was it was a few oh minutes. <laughs> Bob, go go upstairs, dude. <laughs> Told him not to use I don't yeah, I, by the way, you you disclaimer viewer discretion is advised. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> you did, dude. <laughs> Your showing in the last hmm. Bob Does Sports video was some special, special stuff. It was so a I, lot of me. Well, it I was... kinda wanna know what you like 
your thoughts going into it versus the reaction you got because the people got what they wanted and I think they liked it. I was very nervous going in because um, <laughs> there he is. You stop. You look, no, no. You, we've been talking. I, you we've look talking. borderline kind of mad. No, no. <laughs> You know what though? Nah, Bob. I've I've walked into bath like I've smelled oh, some man. some doozies. I said, that that was <laughs> different, reacted. dude. That was like a, that 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 was like, like a, it wasn't even shit. <laughs> it, it, dude, it, that was in all seriousness, I, I, bro. Dude, that was one of the most. It wasn't even a shit. That was like a it Chernobyl was like a level reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in there. I mean, dude, you, somebody tells you they just shit. Like, you you know what's coming your way. That was why. What I'm did you eat today? I'm, I'm honestly asking. I'm doing this thing where I'm only eating protein. <laughs> I don't eat vegetables, fruit, Are carbs, you being serious? No bread, no nothing. But it, so I had. Why? Mm, so I Joe had, Rogan <laughs> probably told him to. I guarantee you. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, is enough. it from Rogan? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. So I had. This guy's got disciples, dude. I had it's four, tasted like elk. <laughs> It should have tasted like sausage. It was um, it was four eggs. It was half an onion. It was jalapeno, a whole jalapeno, and a bunch of chorizo. Are you serious? That's a recipe I, for disaster. And I eat that once a day. That's all. I, it's my only meal of the day. Wait, what? The, I didn't Wait, know about this. I thought we we're going yeah. to Vito's. Well, so I'm gonna have to cheat today. But typically, <laughs> when I'm not with you guys and not going to Vito's, that's what I'm doing. So are you seeing? Are you seeing? Once a day. Are you seeing dividends? Oh, I'm taking shits I've never seen before, but <laughs> besides that, not really. Holy <sighs> shit. All right, boys. I, I wait, we, get... were, we were talking about his oh, performance. I, we were just getting into oh, the performance. Yeah, yeah. performance in the back. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, we're taking over. <laughs> yeah. Best picture, Neil Arnett. Oh, holy um, shit, bro. <laughs> that was wild. We were talking about his, <clears throat> his, his thoughts going into that video versus the response, which was 99% positive. Yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, <clears throat> I, for real though, I was very nervous going into the week because it was a lot of me. I would have, in my head, I would have been like, all right, let's get me on a podcast. And then maybe a few weeks later, the episode will come out. It's just a lot of me. Um, <clears throat> but Bloody. people seem to be enjoying it. So I, I'm thrilled with the, the outcome did of you, it. But did you edit the most of that or did you? I, I no, the take, You know why? Because I was in it. I couldn't do it. So was it hard for you to edit yourself? Horrible. Dude, horrible. he came. Yeah, I, I get that, by the horrible, way. Right? The worst. I, I do get that. He came. We were working on it together at the end. And he was like, it's the fucking worst. It reminded me of myself. He's like, it's the worst fucking video I've ever seen in my life. He's like, I'm in it too much. Every time we, we were going through the video and every time he would show up, he'd be like, oh, this fucking guy. Like he hated it. But I watched it for the first time and I was crying, laughing the whole time. So I, that's how I knew. I can also tell that I'm very nervous. Like other people might not be able to tell. I don't think but they can, I, man. I can tell because it was, we filmed that before I had ever been on a podcast. We filmed that before I even had a mic on the pod. People people think we're still in Virginia, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was like the first time I was ever on it. I hadn't even been on the podcast, so I was a little nervous. But, you know, I, I think the more that I do this, the more comfortable I get and the more me you're going to see. But... It was a lot of fun, and I'm glad people are enjoying it. Did you Did you watch it? I thought it was really good. You watched it? Yeah, I did. Not the whole thing, but I. I <laughs> There's I, no way he watched it. By well, because I know you I don't, watched, you're not really. I nor should a, you. Nor should. Yeah, I, yeah. I watched a little. I watched a very, very little bit of it, but um, yeah, I I don't um certain episodes I'll I'll watch. I don't watch a ton. It's not the there. ones with the ticket. Well, no, but is it is it the same thing? Do you find watching yourself hard to do? Is is that? Yeah, I don't. I don't like watching yeah. myself. Yeah, it's I tough. I don't know. <clears throat> like, I'll watch stuff just to see like the flow of us, and like I like watching what you guys did with the editing and stuff like that. But yeah, it is. It's definitely hard to watch yourself. It oh is. yeah, it's the worst, dude. And they, I was, I was, I was a little surprised at how. I mean, I knew everybody was gonna love it. How much people loved one the tick and two like the five man camaraderie. The scrambles are are the, they're they're amazing and they're the best and the vibes are always the highest. They're obviously a little like different. There's like in terms of views they get because that you can only I, I guess there's like a ceiling on them a little bit. But I think the core audience loves them. I agree because the vibes are are so yeah. great. Like don't get me wrong. Like not that we don't like doing the other stuff, but like it's just the vibes are always so good. Like 
we got a stroke play video coming out, which is great. And we still keep vibes high. Like we don't care really how we do, but it's never as fun. It's all it, stroke play always tends to be more serious because you don't have mm -hmm. anybody to bail you out. You focus on your own ball. That stuff's entertaining. So we'll keep firing that stuff out. But with the with the scrambles, it's just the energy is so high mm -hmm. um, that it's that it, that stroke play video that is coming out. By the way, who knows when? Wh whatever after <laughs> Scotland, we're gonna because it, it is. There are so much shit that happens in that video <laughs> between the carts and a couple other things couple that happen. Things. It is it's going to be a wild video. Yeah, our Canada content just in general is unbelievable. We at, and then we feel really good about the stuff that we have coming out. We have the Canada content, and then we go to Europe with Rick Shields, which is going to be amazing. And then you know we had talked about the behind the scenes stuff already. I think the behind the scenes stuff is going to be good. Yeah. I feel bad for you guys in the sense of. It adds, like I was watching the behind the scenes content go down and I was honestly thinking about you guys. It adds like a whole nother show for you guys to have to edit through. It really does. It's like your guys work now with that. It, it just, am I wrong? It like double, it, it not doubles it, but it puts a lot more on you guys. Um, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it does. Well, we but just started getting comfortable, so it was time to dump yeah. more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I also, I want like that, the Canada content is coming. There's going to be two months of... We have videos that we're putting out um, uh, to the end of August, and then we will get directly into the Canada content and then directly into the Scotland content. Just making sure everybody is aware that, you know, so they don't, you know, because I already see people are already like, where's the Canada content? Um, mm -hmm. It's currently in Canada, but it'll be in a, in a screen near you very soon. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's more work, but it's all, to me, it's exciting because it takes, it's like, takes us, uh, it's a new thing and it's exciting and it takes us to another, uh, I'm also interested to see how people react, like because we're gonna put them in the videos. They're not gonna be separate videos. They're gonna be in the videos, and I don't know how. I don't even know how long it's gonna be. How much is gonna get cut? We tend to cut a lot. Yeah. So we really just only love putting the best of the best of the best stuff in. So I'm curious to see how people react to it. I mean, people ask all the time to get. I sometimes see comments on old videos that they're like, "Oh, get back to this. Get back to doing. Um, get back to the good shit." When are you gonna get back to the good yeah. shit? I think I think yeah. people. I I really feel confident that people will love it. I, I think I, it's I really gonna don't. be a great addition to what we do, mainly because the same thing people love about the uh, the scrambles and why people love the behind the scenes, either on the Bob Does Sort story or certainly been going on your stories because they like seeing the chemistry between between all of us. So even if you're getting a video where it's we have a guest on or it's a two v one and you're like I wish there was more Yaman. Well, in the beginning of the episode, or, or fluttered through, throughout the episode, you're going to get some behind the scene yeah. scenes, and you're going to get all of us. I'll it tell takes you, you through yeah. a whole journey. It really yeah, does. So each episode should give you a little bit of you. You were a, I, I, in the behind the scenes <clears> of Canada. <throat> I had to get used to being on camera, like it's behind the scenes. Different. That guy didn't take one second to get used to it. He was fire. Did you look through it? I looked through some of it, but in person, I was like, this guy is oh, fucking God. murdering it. There wow. used to be, uh, it, it's to have that behind the scenes content is like a dream for me. Even in high school, I used yeah. to always say to my friends, I'd be like, you know, we should just get like a camera rolling around us. Like, and they thought that was like the weirdest thing. Like just to have like a camera just constantly rolling. That's it's, what every 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 crew in the world says. They every like, crew what always. If, what says, if we were all what mic'd we, up? Yeah, we had yeah, a podcast, <laughs> and then Spotify picked us up. Um, okay, favorite part of the podcast. I think it's time. Okay. I think we do a little bit of Q and A. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Here's one. This one's from um, Who Fizzle. Oh my! My dad yeah, left the question. Yeah, I just did a poo fizzle in Bob's <laughs> fucking bathroom here a minute ago. <laughs> um, he wants to know uh, any run-ins with golfers wanting to play through due to slow play recording videos. See, by the way, the reason I think that's a question people are actually interested. In. Like, I think that's a great question. Yeah, it's too. not like it might not be the biggest banger lead to the funny story, but it's a great question. And the answer would be, I the answer is no. Don't think we've ever. There, okay. I'd be crazy to say we didn't ever have it because there had to be I can think of some... one time. When? Really? Not where it was crazy. When we were in Virginia, we were pushed along a little bit at, at one of the at a few of the places, um, by and rightfully so. But sometimes we wait. Mm -hmm. We wait a lot, and not I got nothing against wait. I, it's totally fine. I like chilling, but I'm saying it's surprising that we we actually have got it down pretty good to where we kind of fly especially if it's a scramble a scramble a scramble with us goes faster than a regular round with with no cameras yeah i mean out of all the golf we've played i don't think and courses of courses are also super nice to where they <clears throat> will book off a few tea times sometimes for us to where 
if you just keep steady pace, the people behind you are not going to catch you. I think the longest day of golf, and they had to get the course blocked off that we've ever had in Bob Does Sports History, it wasn't on our channel. The bar stool video, we probably golfed for seven hours. Yeah. That was, they literally had to. And it was a long time. There was, because there was eight people taking a shot on every There was yeah. so much going on. But now I just feel like we're in a groove to where it, it moves fast. The only thing that, that tends to take a while is the challenge um, videos. And then we have Chevy for that. So we have a great course that we go and usually do most of the challenge ones. But that's usually the ones that, that take the longest. But no, we're, we're very good about it. We actually hit into people now. Yeah. Oh, that was the worst. First one was Ticket's fault, and he'll tell you that. No, we taught yeah. No, the other no, no, two the was second of three was my fault. There we was one, oh, okay. there was one issue. Yeah. By the way, I am that that's on me. A hundred percent. The second ones I'll take that. It's on me too. And when that guy chewed me out, man, I, I just there was nothing that I that I could say. I just I, I ate especially then when he said he was a fan. It was he, tough. And he called you Bobo. He called me Bobo, yeah. That's <laughs> I'd know, rather he buddy me. Yeah. Yeah, or sport. Yeah, Bob yeah. gave you a clown name. Bro, you play bro. golf all sport. Don't if you <laughs> if you sport somebody, yeah, you're catching hands. Unless yeah. you're the Great Gatsby. Whoa! I, yeah. I was gonna drop that, and I did not think you. I know didn't. That. I, that. I didn't know. How do I you know, know that? I love that movie. Is, oh, the movie. <laughs> yeah, the it's movie. It's a famous book. Oh, you read the book? Yeah, in school. Little really? Loser. Yeah. You still read books? No, I wish I did. What's the last time you read, read a book? Either. Four or five years ago. Really? Bro, yeah. I can't tell you the last time I hand wrote anything. Well, I was an English major. I used to read for fun, believe it or not. Yeah, we got it. I like to it. read. Wow. What um, do you read? What's the last book you read? I'll tell you. Oh, it was four or five years ago. I don't remember. Okay. The Odyssey by there Homer. Was, there was a book recently that you told me I would love, and I thought about it. Oh, it was a biography, right? Yeah. It was, I like that it shit. It was about. Phil Knight. It was about. Um, Shoe Dog. It was that's about some musician because you like musicians. Like you, you, one of your favorite books is the Anthony Kiedis book. Love that book. The Red Hot Chili Peppers yeah. guy. Yeah, you love that book. So there was one. I'll think of it at some point. Did you ever read the Phil Knight book, Shoe Dog? I did not. Mm. Yeah, you only read yeah. books about moguls. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing that you interests love me, dude. guys who build empires. I, I like reading about them. Yeah, <laughs> I like reading about real shit. Like, keep your Harry Potter to yourself. Sure, no, I want to read about that. you know real real shit. I love. Biographies yeah. and autobiographies and fables. I did from like they made you do a summer book report from like fifth to eighth grade. So for four years straight, I did a Derek Jeter yeah, biography book. I could tell yeah. you everything about Kalamazoo, Michigan. I did, I did a report on Thomas Edison one time. Did you really? Yep. Okay. Next question. My grandfather's from Kalamazoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told <laughs> us that. Jesus Going back to the question though, I'll say, so we don't really have issues with that necessarily, but... Sometimes, because I zoom up to the green. Good point. Sometimes I think people think we're rushing them, mm -hmm. but it's just oh, me coming a... up to the. So I'll I'll get some attitude sometimes, but rightfully so, and then I try to smooth it over, and it's it's almost always gone you well. You have it tough yeah. too, because if they're ever like when we hit into the guys last time, you're yeah, the sure. first line of defense. Yeah. So like, but at the same time, you're a good guy to to get them in a good spot. Yeah. Like right. I like sending you out. I I would be happy to send you out well, there because he he asks them where they're from, and they say, and then he knows somebody from there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Says, that's that's true. how he does it. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next question. Um. Thank you for that poo fizzle. Um, <laughs> have you ever have you ever thought of having the squad try another sport for content? That's from Royal Rules. You go? So, okay, yeah, I mean, here's the tr the truth <clears throat> about that. The answer is yes, but and we can get into. I don't want to get too technical. No, go. The way YouTube works is like we have our videos are we are a golf channel for the most part. Right. And, and YouTube knows that. And everybody knows that. And if we put out videos as much as we want to put out doing other shit, the vlog stuff, like that's why the vlog stuff will work in the regular videos. We're a golf channel. And you'll, if you go back, we have some videos that are not golf videos. They just don't perform well, which in turn makes the rest of the videos not perform well. and makes the future videos not perform well. So unfortunately we don't want to be mixing other stuff on the main channel. We are what we are now with that being said, that we've talked for a long, long time about a different channel or an extra channel 
or a show on a different platform or something that allows us that we can say make another channel that is known by YouTube and YouTube recognizes it in its algorithm as an everything channel. And I if we can that. build that up, unfortunately we don't have the bandwidth to do it right now, but there are hundreds of opportunities to do stuff when we do that and having guys not only do other sports, but do other activities and do other things and It'll, that that page by itself will grow organically and we can put whatever we want on there and we won't be hurting our main page so that's that's that'll come one day yeah we just it, it's tough there's nothing worse than having a video that you just know is not going to perform well and and come release i usually release i get so excited i love to go watch the numbers it's nothing worse than having a video that you know is not going to do well and with those it's just that's i totally agree with what you said i think youtube recognizes it and it's just not yeah. what people want the extra channel would be interesting i think it's something that would have to take place when we're in jupiter like there's a lot that we could do we would need more hands on deck but there's a lot we could do when we have a studio when we have space hopefully get a simulator yeah. or something and there's a lot of other stuff we could do, but even other sports, yeah, possibly. And on. we, yeah, we talk all the time about it, just like, <laughs> unfortunately, like, not unfortunately, you, you're playing under the rules of the platform. So it's like, you got to just do what you got. Like, at the end of the day, the, the better, you know, the, the, the more people that are watching your stuff, the better it is, the more it grows. If we're starting putting out videos that aren't going to perform on the main channel, it'll affect all the future golf videos and it'll just keep affecting. So we know, you know, we're playing under the, you know, the game plan or the, under the rules that we have to. Yeah. Playing the game. Yeah. Playing the game. YouTube wants you to stay in your lane. I will say I would love just to do one, even if it doesn't perform well, one college football experience bring them to yeah. Oxford. But that's, yeah, we have to. But that's the thing too, is that, and that's why with the behind the scenes, what is going to be interesting to see is how those videos perform while being integrated in a golf video. I'm praying it performs well just because I want to Well, we'll see. It. I mean, if but, it does, if it does, we'll, we'll figure it out. I mean, yeah. if it doesn't, it'll go to a different channel. It's but true. I think the fact that having that as the main, mm -hmm. having the golf as the main focus of what we're doing, we'll be, we'll be fine. What about like a uh, home run derby? Yeah, exactly. That'd be cool. Would you like to do that? I would love that. You'd like that? Yeah, I think yeah. that would be a lot of fun. Just a bunch of characters that you know? Yeah, or uh, like pick up basketball. Like if if, yep. if sure. me, Cuts, and Perez showed up at Rucker Park. Yep. Yeah. And like you, you put us into a game or something. Stuff like that. But yeah, that could be the extra channel. It'd be a lot of fun. Um, all right. This one comes from Zax2711. Favorite video you all have done? I love that question. So you, I, you each. Yeah, go, go for it. No, you, you, you start. start off. No, I've been talking for two months. You start, Tick. I gotta think. Okay. Oh, good. I can go. I got one. Okay, go for it. Okay, <clears throat> Tick, why don't you go? Jesus Christ. You go. Okay. <laughs> what if we have the same one? Um, my favorite one we've ever done is the quarterback one. <sighs> Fuck you. Josh. Well, I thought oh. you were going to say Max Homa, but Josh Allen, Sam Darnold. Was that yours? It's the only one I wasn't you, there for you since weren't I there, started. So it can't be your favorite. I know. It was Josh. And it's not even my favorite. That, <laughs> oh, 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 It's the best one. The, the oh. only day yeah. I saw Something about and, the vibes and, so that day. So it was day. the Allen one and then the 30 before Ticket joined. Those <laughs> are my favorite. <laughs> but no. Fuck so, you. <laughs> so that was the best because, and don't get me wrong, we've done so many videos where the vibes were high. That was the highest vibe camaraderie video while making it from everybody across the board. Right. They were so cool. They came in. They knew everybody. They like dapped everybody up from the jump. There wasn't a feeling out process that there is sometimes. They were cool as shit. They were funny as shit. They had a great time. The dinner afterwards was amazing. They, it was like, whole, when, when we were driving home from that that night, we were like, wow, like that was crazy. So I think for me just, and the video obviously did really well. They're all like part of, you know, the, like, I would say all of them are, when you think of like Bob the Sports, like people in the world, and they're all up there, top guys. So, yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, I, that's, that's, that's yours too? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I agree with what he said. Start to bot, like, start to finish. The vo it, it just, it was amazing. It really was. I didn't, by the way, I didn't expect us to be drinking like we did. That like they right. set the tone with that. I did not see that it, coming. It, it did not feel like we were making a video at any point. It felt like you guys were just fucking having a blast. I was having a blast. It was the best. It was so much fun. And and it's a shame. And they're super busy, but I know it'll get uh, you know run back soon. And we did say it would be a seven game series, which will go until about twenty thirty five. But <laughs> yeah. you know, hopefully we get another one about the soon. same time as the Pebble Beach series. Yes. <clears throat> yes. 
Tick. To your favorites, Josh Allen, as well, and, and yeah. also the 30 before I started. And the 30 before you started. <laughs> That's correct. Fantastic. Yeah. Strawberry Farms, ticket day one. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite one was the 1500 Challenge. That Love was, that. there was a period there, it's like in the though. middle, where I was actually not having much fun, because yeah. I was like, this is, we're never, we're, I legitimately thought we were never getting out of there, and the flies were eating us alive, if you remember that. I'm but surprised at that it pick. Just, but it just led to, there were so many moments where we were all just getting so delirious and goofy, <laughs> yeah. and we were just all, we, it was a shared experience. I mean, we were, me and you were working, like we were filming, and we're all working, but it was like we were all were reaching a point. Even you guys playing, I can't imagine my back would be done after 18 holes, nonetheless 25 or whatever we played. But it was just it just led to so much nonsense. And that's my favorite kind of humor. It's just when we get silly and goofy, yes. like Perez with the shoe, trying to oh, tie his shoelaces, and just yeah. and just cuts. He got so delirious that he started hitting good shots <laughs> at the end, and it was just it was. It was a lot of fun. I remember that was my moment too when we left. I was like, "Wow, it's gonna that's gonna crush. That's yeah. gonna be." It was such a good idea, and then just the comedy. We really, you guys really delivered in it. It was awesome. Let me ask you this: What would you say is your favorite meal with Bob does sports? <laughs> he goes the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, the next one. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'll say this. I'll 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 say. Um, do you mean good food or good vibes or, or whatever? Great question. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I would say I, vibes. I, I got one, but tickets gonna hate it. Yeah. You. Yeah. What is it? It was the night with Josh Allen, Sam Darnold, <laughs> and uh, Kyle. Allen. <laughs> it really was. Dude, though. It really was. That's was it not? Awesome. It was the best. <laughs> that's awesome. The best. We got a Facetime. It's we Facetime the man yeah. for a little bit. I got a great yeah. photo. Yeah. yeah. Me sick on the couch with COVID. Well, so Josh, and Allen, Josh Allen. He FaceTime looked in the man. middle of the dinner. He go Josh he Allen. He's like, he's like, he's like, can we call the ticket? That's and I was like, so I, so I Facetime the ticket. I Facetime the ticket. No answer. And I text him. I was like, you're gonna want to answer this one. So we call back, and it was just, yeah, it was pretty cool. He's he's the the highest. He's the most famous normal person I think we've ever we've ever encountered. Yeah. Yeah. Like down to earth. Never met him. The the most famous down to earth. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never met him. I've it's so funny. Never met him. Because in, in Tahoe you bailed early. It's do you hate the guy? Yeah. yeah. Well now it now I can't meet him. Now it's a bit yeah. that I cannot meet him. But I want to. What's your favorite meal though? <sighs> I had a blast when we were in Atlanta when we went out. Oh, that when is. When we went out to Atlanta, shout out Reed Haley. Shout out Reed Media. Haley. Uh, shout out Hal's. Um, Hal's. He, Hal's. He, he, Reed took us to an awesome <sighs> restaurant in Atlanta called Hal's. And it was the four, I think Cutsy wasn't there, but it was the rest of yeah. us, Reed, uh, some of his friends, and it was just a blast. The magician? Yeah, the, we had a magician yeah. come to the table. Yeah. We had some bone in ribeyes. Yeah. <laughs> Rebi 22 ounces. Yeah. And uh, that, that was just a fantastic vibes night. It's I love it. Where did we go call. after that? The, 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 oh, the, what was I it couldn't called? tell you the name. No, we had it. It was a great uh, name. Oh, you guys went somewhere and they kept buying you guys shots. Yeah, right? it was. The, when you took a picture with the Max Homo, Max Homo looked like, <laughs> the guy looked <laughs> identical yeah, yeah. to Max Homo. Fuck, what was it? It's a very famous place. It's like a disco, oh, it's like a disco bar in People in are going to put it in the comments. I'm going to look it up. I it, need to know. It, it, was, it was like J Jumping Julie's or some shit. That I gotta, hold dinner, on. The, the meal was amazing. The food mm -hmm. was so good. And the vibes it was, were... It was really good. That was one of the best jet dinners I, it was. I've seen. And well, the magician jazzed him up. No, it was one of the really, first where I was up. turning it on. It was you, one of the first oh, where I... Oh, yeah, you yeah. kicked it. You're feeling good. You settled in a blast. 10, 15 minutes in, and you kicked it into another gear. I got to look this place up. Yeah. Uh, and then out of respect, Cutsy's, Cutsy's family. Oh, yeah, yeah. You gotta Which put, really was you a great put, time. Yeah, it really was. Um, but that that would be the Cole <clears throat> house. Um, I hate to say one prior to you, Dick. But uh, that Red Lobster dinner is all time. Damn, this guy's get taken straight. <laughs> no, left well, and well right. Cutsy just took an L on the on yeah, the house. Yeah, true, true. Um, true. So your favorite episode and your favorite meal, I was nowhere to be found. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a you should ask for my favorite podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's so oh. good, dude. Um, the Red Lobster dinner when we were in Arizona, it was like uh, the first time that we took Cutsy on a trip, and it was the night before we even started filming, but it was just like the vibes were high, and it was just so cool that really sat in, like we're doing this for work. This is really, yeah, really best. cool. The place, By the way, the place in Atlanta is called Johnny's Hideaway. 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. There it is. That yeah, rings bell. That spot. also was the night of the funniest Fat Perez stories I've ever seen. Yep. When he the contract negotiation with him was <laughs> hysterical. We're gonna have to cut it in half and <laughs> double half. it. Look, and then here's the deal. Know, if you want a deal at that it's number, you're gonna, gonna have to cut it in half. Uh, and then I need you to double it. <laughs> and if you're not prepared to do that, then I just I'll walk away. I'll walk away right now. Because somebody will make that deal with you. And if it ain't you, it'll be somebody else. And I'd hate. I'd hate for that. I'd, I'd be sick over it, but I'd sign it. I'd sign that deal in a heartbeat. Double. Um, let's do. Let's do one more. One more. Yeah. Let's one do more. more. Wait, you didn't say yours. I said Josh yeah, Allen, Josh Kyle Allen, Allen, Sam Darnold. Oh, you meant that. Oh, was that not the greatest dinner? Oh, I dinner? thought it was a yeah. joke. I thought it was no, a stab at you. Was that not the great? Like, no offense. It was one of the best. It was it, because I'm no, gonna tell you why. I'll tell you why. Totally, but yeah. I will tell you why. This this it, cousin's Maine lobster thing or red no, lobster. Oh, help me out here. Help it, me out here. The, a lot of this stuff is is like sentimental. That's a sentimental moment. That's why it's like. Yes. Listen, the lobster wasn't good, but it was. But Sucked. the 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 moment was was special. The thing with the the quarterbacks was that we had just come off the the most. I mean, you weren't there, so you wouldn't know. But we had just. <laughs> fuck you. We have, we had just come up, like the round was so high that it just like elevated right into dinner. There was no, it just kept going. It was, it was amazing. It, it was it, a lot it, of fun. Yeah. And there was no, uh, like nobody was ready to leave. Sometimes right. like when you're done with the round, somebody asks you to go to dinner. Like you, you think you got to do it just like, just to do it. Like you have to, Yeah, we were ready to just keep rolling. It was the type of meal where every single table was just looking at us like, what is happening? Over there? Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's when Josh was throwing the popcorn yes. into my it mouth. It was crazy. It was, yeah, it was the best. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Times, man. Ne next question. Next question. What do you like the most about Big Ticket? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think if I've even been around you for a sentimental moment. Me? Just like us. Oh, Have we how had we've, we've had sentimental dare moments. You. you know what was great? How dare you? What? You know what was great? Well, I guess it wasn't dinners then, because I, I really couldn't think of any dinners, but the boat. And yeah. Yeah. That was a special. You were one. sitting on the front. Oh and was blasting that music. yeah, that was one. dude, yeah. that that was that was a soak it in type deal. I'm a big. Yeah. I don't you, know. You love the boat. Scene. I loved it. I don't, yeah, you do. I ain't going in that water, but I like that boat. That's like the moment that we were sold on Jupiter. Yep. It really was. It is, I mean, that is. was. We'll never be on that boat. I was again. gonna say. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that boat's still there when we get there. <laughs> um, all right, great. Um, question from the last question we'll do from BP11. What's the best hotel or Airbnb your crew has ever stayed it's at? It's a phenomenal, phenomenal question. Yeah, I gotta think, um, dude. Um, I could, <clears throat> I could fire that off right away. Go for it, because I, I gotta think. Wor best and worst? Uh, we can. It just I, said best. Oh, okay. I got two. So best Arizona, right behind um, Chalamar. Yep. That hotel. That's where the Perez. It was Airbnb. Damn, dude, you weren't on there yet. <laughs> Oh yeah, that, that is there. one of the best pictures of all time, though. Him flying in. That yeah, you have. yeah, yeah. No, I wasn't there. <laughs> that that damn that damn <laughs> dude. That's tough. That, um, no, but it was on the course. I know what you're gonna say about it. It was literally on the course. It was on the course. Yeah. There was the uh, the hot tub there, but something about it was just special. Two stories. You could stand on the top. Yeah, yeah, we were by the food areas. The Dairy Queen. We must have gone to that Dairy Queen five times. Raising Cane's. It was FP's Didn't first. Didn't you guys have like, first one of the worst? Mexican meals you've ever had, or, uh, yes. or was it Italian? Italian. Italian. No, no, yes. no. Oh, Italian and Mexican. Remember, we wanted to go have a beer and have Mexican food, and they didn't have. That was liquor. the same trip. But that Italian food was the worst. Yeah, right. Was, and the fans are great with your DMs. They, they give you great recommendations. Very rarely will you get bad ones. Um, that was FP's first. That this. was FP's first trip. Joseph, we are mid podcast, but we just want you to know that we love you and uh, we will call you back. But anything you want to say to the Ask folks. him his favorite Airbnb. Who are you with? Ticket and Yaman? Ticket and Yaman. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cutsy, what was your favorite Airbnb or hotel? Favorite Airbnb would be Scottsdale. Which one? The one the one where we had the ping pong table, you and me, and we had the pool. Oh, he's talking about And we like, had like that nice lounge here. He's, he's talking about the home time. The home time. I, I didn't see yeah. that coming that was my, at that was my, all. Yeah. A ping pong really? table goes a long way for Joe. I really like that one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the vibes, the, the couch to TV ratio was awesome. A little bit the last few times. What? Yeah, the last few Airbnbs have not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been a while. Uh, we love you, Joseph. Like I've been replaced. I just want to let you know that Ticket and Yamin are the new stars of the show, so it's been fun. <laughs> I've the ride, and I will hang up and listen. Cutsy. <laughs> yeah. Cutsy, Adobe, Adobe Premiere.com. They'll, they'll take care of you, buddy. <laughs> we love you, Joey D. Don't forget, don't forget the big dog, boys. Don't forget them. <laughs>
<laughs> Bye. <laughs> Love you too. Oh man, see, I did. Uh, yeah, I. Oh, as far as Airbnb, yes, but our moments weren't yeah, as no, special. So that's, that's yeah. A, that's yeah. You know what I mean? He like, wasn't picking the vibes. He was yeah, picking, I was going yeah. more more vibes. Okay, uh, so that's so, yours. no. Well, I'll go with. I mean, that one was the first one I thought. Um, the the um, Perez. Uh, mountain House is up there for me. Oh, yeah, that's ah, a good one. that's a yeah. really good one. Yeah, it's just a, just walking oh, outside there. That's and really just being good. Able, like I know they just just it, it was good. It was the air was crispy. The place was nice. We shared the smallest beds of all time. I'll give you the I'll give you the um, worst um, Airbnb hotel experience. Was it recently? The first time oh, ticket Scott's. stayed with us. Oh, I was gonna no, say no, not it. not actually. Oh, oh, I, mean, I, I didn't land, trying to remember what dude. It was. Yeah, that didn't oh, land. That's the, 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 the worst. The worst was the original Scottsdale. The hotel yeah, when we yeah. were there for the waste management. Yeah, it was bad. Jet would go in to take a shower, and I would know he's in the shower because water would just come seeping <laughs> through. Dude, it was in like a, a an abandoned schoolyard. That's I, what it felt like you were in before we went to the waste management. Like I had, I was doing heckling there, so I had to get a few drinks in me. I went to like a Seven Eleven to get <clears> drinks at like five in the morning. I was frightened walking there. It it was an it was a weird place. Man. It was awful yeah and we get home we get back and we were so gassed and it just oh it was a fun trip that we got we 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 i feel like we we got pretty close on that trip. that chili's hit real good yeah, on that chi- trip that's when i got the ball it was a texas roadhouse that's we got the ball at Rose, yeah, texas yeah. Roadhouse. there was a chili's after though yeah the ticket wasn't you- there but it was good man. <laughs> yeah. Take, go ahead dude that story from that trip though the story that you tell about how it was like that was your first trip together right no one no no th- no what was the one didn't you guys do the waste manager wasn't that one of your first no trips? whistling straits was the whistling first straits. Oh, whistling straits whatever that's your first the story trip that's was, the story yeah, yeah. Where you you guys were sharing a room right nope What's no. the story? He, he came up to my room. He came up to my room. Yeah, came up yeah. to his we room. got yeah. to Whistling Straits, and Nikki Smigs was there too. And it mm-hmm. was the Tough first scene. trip we we had. And it, he was a nervous wreck. And he just even when I saw him, he just didn't get me. Like he he was a wreck leading up to it. And we go into his room just to say hello to him. It looked it like bad, a dude. Radio Shack. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was. <laughs> Chaos, that's dude. one of my favorite stories but it makes time. it's because it's so real like it makes total sense to you like it's so you it's, it's so dude, i was yeah. like i wanted to be prepared and i had never done this before and i was like le- the whole <laughs> month leading up after i had moved home because i went home for a month all i did was like <clears throat> learn about microphones and videos and all this shit and i had all this stuff and i was sitting there and i was starting to lose my shit and they walked in yeah, and like you, i didn't even think anything of it like, i'm like i'm just prepared out and put it back in <laughs> take it out and put it back in <laughs> but he was a i was nervous. trying different things yeah I you guys were still using that man on the street like com- like the road the, the Mike, road yeah right? yeah yeah and the first day at, at the first day out whistling straits i couldn't get it to work so i was like fuck it we'll just film on the thing and then we figured it out it was a whole it was a whole as, thing as fun as it was there was no way we were going to be able to sustain that we we couldn't no, no, no. do glad, that yeah. every every week we just he couldn't have Oh man, dude! There dude. was a week we went to we went to Ole Miss, and then we were in Atlanta a day later, and then we were somewhere else a day. Then we were in Buffalo. The order's all fucked up, but there was, I think we we realized early on like this ain't gonna work. Couldn't do it, yeah. And it was probably a lot more expensive than Absolutely. what we do yeah. now too. Yeah, yeah, it's true. true. Um, I'll quickly do mine, and then I'm sure we can wrap it up. Uh, when we were in Memphis, the Perez Duck Hotel. So we oh, stayed at. Wow. That's a, that's a great, great First call. of all, I've always, I'm the only guy, in the, well, me and Joe are the only guys in the crew who like hotels because mm-hmm. I like my space away mm-hmm. from yeah. you guys. I, yeah. I just, you know, nothing against you guys. I just, but I also recently, that last Airbnb we had kind of turned me on the hotels. I love that so much. Turned you but into Airbnbs? Turned or? me on back onto the Airbnbs. Airbnbs? Yes. But anyway, this hotel, so I was already happy about that, but they have this duck parade walk thing. I'm sure people oh. who watch this will remember that. The Peabody. I don't like geese at all, but I love ducks. You do? Yeah, I had a duck in college. <laughs> what do you mean you had a duck in I had college? a little duckling in college. I and how many ducklings do you got? Uh, eight. Uh, the duckling's name was Larry Bird. <laughs> no way. Yeah, I had a duck. He used to follow me around campus. Well, actually, a bunch of us had ducks. We had Little Wayne, we had Tennessee Jed, and we had uh, Larry Bird. And um, it was great. I miss him. Perez led the march of ducks from the ground floor, the lobby, 
all the way up to the to the to the top of the fucking hotel. <laughs> it was on. <laughs> we had a little we had a little fucking staff with a duck head on top of it. <laughs> we'll and point he was like, point. Oh, it was so good. Our honorary uh, what do they call it? Duck master. Duck master everybody, yeah. duck they, master. There were all these kids gathered around, and like everybody thought they were gonna give it to a kid, and they're like. Do they call him Nick Stubby or they call him Fat Nick Stubb? Nick, Nick Stubb. Stubb. And he gets up and all, all the parents are like, oh. And then they like look. They're like, that's not a child. Like, that's a grown ass man. And he walked up and the guy, even the host, he was so used to just like leading children, I guess. And then he's like, Nick, take the staff. And watching him get, it was the smallest elevator of all time. So it was Perez, the duck master, and then like the dozen of ducks. It was wild. It was absolutely unbelievable. Wild. It really was. <sighs> um. All right, boys. It's a great pod. Yeah, Good that one. was a fun pod. Yeah. It really was. I enjoyed yeah. that. I wasn't there for half of it. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, folks. That does it. A lot of content on the way. Um. Take it to my right. Jet to my left. It was a special one. It's been another edition. The Bob Does Sports Podcast. We will see you next time. Take care. Clap it up, boys. Clap it up. That was awesome. Good one.